Hello everyone, and welcome to another introduction edition into the Cineumeric Control. Today, we're going to walk through how to connect to X127. X127 is an Ethernet port on the very front of the control and is very useful to connect your laptop or programming device with this CNC control. You can use that for programming the PLC, uploading HMI information, working with some of the information on the CF card, or doing some basic commissioning and servicing. Right now, we're going to walk through a successful connection to X127. So first you'll notice that I have a LAN connection with my computer, the local area connection number three. And I'm looking in my network and sharing center. If I click on the local area connection in the details, I'll see that I have a DHCP is enabled and my address is 192.168.215.2. You want to have the .2 address because the control is a .1. 192.168.215 .1 address is assigned from the control to the computer. So now that I've checked that my properties are correct, I'm going to see if I can view the HMI on the NCU using VNC Viewer. I'm going to connect to the NCU address, which is 192.168.215.1. Hit connect. And I've been able to successfully connect to the HMI. Now I can do any of the diagnostic or servicing that I'm looking to perform. So now that we've walked through how to properly connect to X127, I'm going to show you a failed connection and some troubleshooting techniques to fix it. So the first step, we'll notice that my LAN connection between my laptop and my NCU is currently connected. So if I open up my network and sharing center, I can see the LAN connection identified. I'm going to open up the VNC viewer to look at the NCU, and my connection has failed. So now we're going to walk through some steps for troubleshooting that. The first step is to open up the network and sharing center and look at the local area connection three properties. So I hit details, I'll notice my DHCP is not enabled and my IP4 address is 192.168.214.200. What we want is the 192.168.215.2. We need to go ahead and correct that. And we need to have the DHCP enabled. To do that, I'm going to go to properties, I'm going to go down to my internet protocol version 4. I'm going to select obtain IP address automatically. Hit OK. OK. And now my LAN connection is set up for a DHCP enabled server. If at the details, my IP4 address has been refreshed and my DHCP is enabled. Sometimes, however, you need to refresh the LAN connection adapter settings with the command prompt. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. I'm going to do it using a Windows batch file that is associated with this video. If I look at the syntax, I'm going to run ipconfig slash release to release the current settings of the adapter and renew to renew new DHCP settings for my LAN connections. Finally, I'm going to ping the NCU address. So I run the file. My IP address has been released. Now I'm going to renew my IP configuration and you'll notice that my IP4 address is now 192.168.215.2 and have been successfully able to ping the .1 address which is the NCU. I'm going to close the command prompt and now try to connect with my VNC viewer. I was able to successfully connect. So just to review we checked the LAN connection properties, made sure it was a DHCP enabled. We made sure that the IP address of the computer was refreshed to 192.168.215.2, and then we connected using the VNC viewer. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope this is able to help you do some basic commissioning, basic troubleshooting, and configuration of your machine. Thank you for listening to this introduction video into the Cinemeric CNC control.